we have this thing on zones of regulation and it basically focuses on emotional well-being and their mental alertness. And so they visibly, and for everybody to see, they will come in and they will visibly put themselves, if they're in the green zone or the blue zone, yellow or red. And that, and right on there says, you need adult help right now. And, um, and they'll go and from there go in to do their own coping strategies. And after a while it runs on its own and you'll see kids going, I'm in the blue zone. I'm gonna go into that quiet corner and just ground myself or I'm gonna read a happy book or I'm gonna say my mantras or breathing techniques, whatever it might be. And then they come back and we just allow that, um, we allow that flexibility of just coming in and out and we know where they're going and why they're going there and they come back in and sometimes they'll change themselves throughout the day um, and if I don't notice another child will come in I just want you to notice that so-and-so is in the blue zone and then I will go connect with them if they want to talk about it or they think they can handle it on their own because blue zone doesn't necessarily mean that they're sad it could be they're just feeling tired or sick or just feeling really quiet that morning um, so there's that real uh, having that transparent tells them one that it's okay to feel angry to be sad or have a really horrible morning or whatever it might be um, and you're in here and you're in a safe space not only are you in a safe space but we're here to support and we have a million different coping strategies that you can do um, to help yourself out